Good evening, I'm Karen Swenson. And I'm Natalie Shepard. We begin tonight with an eyewitness news follow up on a report from last night on the huge increase in heroin deaths in our area. You know, up until a decade ago, drug dealers would have gotten a mandatory life sentence for heroin distribution in Louisiana. Dealers now face five to 50 years in prison. Katie Moore takes a closer look at what else is behind the increase. It's dangerously addictive, yes. You, you use it and you're going to try to come back for the same buzz, which you're never probably going to get again. In Louisiana, more people seem to be chasing that high. It's more uh, party acceptable among white middle class people. According to two Louisiana coroners, they're the majority of people who are dying of heroin related overdoses in high numbers. Compared to 2012, I would say it's a substantial increase, probably about 50% increase. The Jefferson Parish Coroner isn't the only agency in the state seeing a dramatic increase in the number of heroin overdose deaths. East Baton Rouge Parish went from five heroin OD deaths in 2012 to 33 last year. Statistics weren't available for St. Tammany or Orleans, but in Jefferson, the number climbed from about 40 to 64 plus. Six additional overdoses that I think probably were um, taken by people who thought they were taking heroin. That would be the acetylfentanyl overdoses. That's a heroin like drug. Both coroners say they think the increase in heroin use is the result of a new prescription tracking system statewide. It really makes it much more difficult for somebody to doctor shop or to go in and, you know, and uh, lie about symptoms to get additional uh, you know, medications. Criminologists say decreased sentencing laws could be playing a role in the supply. Plus, people are getting drastically different concentrations. I do think we see more fluctuations now than we uh, in, in the strength of heroin than we used to. So I think uh, a lot of it could be due to uh, people getting uh, doses of heroin that are much stronger than they're used to taking thus causing them to overdose and die. It's a deadly trend that they hope will lead more people to get help instead of high. Katie Moore, Eyewitness News. In all, 138 people died of drug overdoses in Jefferson Parish alone last year.